Hi there, I'm out here with the Sweep at 30. I'm going to show you how to trim a free flight discus launch glider. So this is a kit that we offer. Um, very nice flying airplane designed by Lee Hines. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to try and raise you guys up just a little more. So what we're going to do is I, I have not, uh, I've flown this airplane as far as chucked it across the yard so I know what it's going to do, but I've not done any trimming. This is as it came off of our build video. So uh, the plane's balanced uh, according to where it says to balance it on the, on the original plans. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll check it out there. So what we're looking for is we want a right hand turn in the glide, fairly floaty glide, and then we'll proceed on to actually hand launching this plane or th yeah whatever so winds coming from out that way so we'll give it a test glide and looking fairly good but no turn and I think it is a little bit nose heavy so we're gonna make two adjustments one we'll pop the uh, dethermalizer line loose here so we can get to our incident screw inside here and we'll un unscrew it a couple of cranks. All right, that's a full turn on the incident screw. And next, since this airplane is showing no tendency to go um, to the right, actually in extended glides, I've already seen it's going, um, it's going to the left, which is very, very dangerous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slit here just below the tail boom, and then I'm going to come all the way down, kind of crease this, so I'm actually going to bend my entire vertical stab, and if I like what I see, I'm going to go ahead and glue it that way. give it a glide looking better I think it needs more a little bit more rudder offset so we've got that increased rudder offset not really holding it but we'll glue it in a minute. there we go much better all right, so we'll glue that and then we'll give it one more check and then we'll start getting a little more exciting. Okay, so we've glued the rudder in um, at, you can see we've got a little bit of offset there. So what I'm gonna do now is before I start really throwing it, I'm gonna chuck it kind of hard. And we're gonna, we wanna see that the airplane goes kind of straight, starts to rise up, peels off to the right and goes in the glide. And I'm gonna walk a little ways up wind so you can see that whole profile. Very good. Nice. So we did see the airplane kind of cranked in a little bit. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you guys up like that. Once you, I don't know, something like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to just, I'm going to go out there and chuck it and we'll see what it does. I'm going to actually, you know, sling it the way it's intended to be. Um, I'm going to set the dethermalizer to hopefully go off fairly early on just in case anything's nutty so I'm just setting it to right there so it's barely got any time at all it is extremely cold out here so it's running slow Okay, so the airplane is going up and it's kind of snapping. Um, so I think we're going to back off a little on the rudder. So I'm just going to bend some of that rudder back out. And I can just as easily glue it back a little. But the other thing is, I think that it needs more incidents. Um, because 
Oh, it just don't feel like it's swinging around like it should. And that's usually a sign that the elevator's not kicking in good enough. Gets. All right, so we'll go fly it and evaluate again. And pie. All right, so what we saw there was uh, on that first launch just didn't didn't chuck it in good enough. Uh, second one, um, the airplane went up and it's transitioning pretty well. I'm not throwing it very hard, so it's still a little not great on the transition. Um, glide looked good, except it straightened out, and I'm a little concerned about that. So I'm adding a little bit of the rudder back in, and I'm going to compensate really just kind of kind of by chucking it a little harder to get it to hold on over into that left uh, that left climb um, and then hopefully it'll once it transitions it'll go into the right turn that we're looking for so um, that's the only adjustment there everything else looked good Okay, so what you saw there, um, I made no further adjustments. She's launching pretty good. Uh, might be a few tweaks to make because kind of snappy on the transition, actually a little more so than I want. So might need a little more up elevator or what have you. And I still am not sure what happens later on in the flight pattern. I'm having to fly up there so you all can get some hint of what's going on. And frankly, you're probably getting very little. Um, but the, the bottom line is uh, maybe a little more incidence, maybe a little more nose weight. Uh, probably I need to put some weight on the um, on this outside wing tip as well. To so the SD card filled up on that last bit, so you didn't get to see the end of what I was uh, saying. But uh, just a few closing comments because the airplane's now trimmed out and flies awesome. Um, 
I started doing full turn launches, so uh, you know, so I'm launching a little bit higher. Uh, but I did make a few more adjustments um, in based on findings of that first trimming session. So one thing I did was I don't know if it shows up real well, but you can see I have a little bit of ballast there on that left uh, right wing tip, and the reason for that is this wing tip with its fiberglass and whatnot. Um, carries a lot of momentum and so as the plane slows down the plane swings to uh, away from the heavier wingtip because it want, that wingtip wants to keep going. Um, so I did that and that allowed me to get rid of most of my uh, right rudder trim. So as you can see I have very little offset now. Um, just spent a little bit of time tweaking that. Um, and also the plane was still just kind of hanging over too hard if it got into a dive. So on the uh, outside wingtip, on the, the left wingtip, my throwing wingtip, I don't know if you can see that, but I bent a little bit of a warp in there. You see that on the trailing edge? Um, just started bending that in there until I got what I was kind of happy with, where the airplane, uh, when it would get into a dive, it would pull out and just slowly swing around instead of really cranking over. Um, that kind of resists that. Uh, the other thing is I did add a little bit more lead to the nose um, because as I started doing that the airplane started stalling a little bit and since my climb trim was where I wanted it to be and I didn't want to lose any more incidents because it was going pretty straight as it was um, I just added a, a couple of little more thin sheets of lead uh, to carry in that nose pocket um, and that straightened everything out there. Uh, last comment I'll say is if you notice I've got the rubber bands dangling free on on there. Um, when you're storing the airplane, do that. Uh, that way, particularly for the DT line, it's not under stress and so it doesn't start rotting quite as fast. You are going to have those wear out and whatnot. Uh, that's why you want to store the airplane in a dark place um, or at least where it's not having um, fluorescent light bulbs or a lot of sunlight shining on it because that will deteriorate those. Um, then you have to change them more often. Uh, alternatively, uh, there are several outfits that sell springs uh, that you can use for the timer. So for the for actuating the the actual uh, dethermalizer, um, any old rubber band kind of works there as long as you have the tension about right. Um, but for that uh, for that timer, um, you need something a little more consistent. And uh, Valer Products has springs. Uh, FAI Model Supply, I think, has springs. Um, I don't remember who else. Um, Stan Budenbaum obviously has springs. Uh, so those are those are a couple of uh, options for you. So I hope you enjoy your sweep at. Uh, let us know how it flies for you. And uh, questions, comments in the comments section below. And we'll see you at the flying field. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.